Hey everyone, so today I have my makeup inventory. Um, I know a lot of people have been doing these lately. I want to do one as well. So quickly before I get into it, I wanted to kind of explain why I want to do one. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing one. I'm going to go through and recount every three months-ish. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I want to make sure that I'm on track for my goal. And also, I am a cruelty-free person, I guess. For me, cruelty-free means that I can still support brands that are owned by companies that aren't. So that's called third-party testing. Um, there are a ton of videos and ton of information out there if you want to learn more about it. This was a personal choice I made um, almost years ago um, and I've been working towards it uh, all the time I know that I'm not perfect and that's also why I want to do this I know that there's still items in my collection that are not cruelty free and some of them I'm not ready to part with I haven't found dupes there's a ton of reasons but some of them I can use up and I should use up so um, I want to do a makeup inventory to keep myself on track for making sure my collection is the size I want it to be but also to make sure that um, I'm staying cruelty free. I would love it if my collection was 90% cruelty free. So that means that 90% of the products itself are cruelty free and 90% of the brands in my collection are cruelty free. So I went through and wrote down every brand and kind of tallied how many things I have from them and um, also did it by item. So we're gonna go through items first um, and then at the end, I'll kind of talk about brands and whatever. So, um, primers, I have 12 primers and I would like to get that down to five. So there's three types of primers I like to have in my collection. I like to have my, um, tea tree primer, which I can show you quick. It looks like this. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. I use this as a base on my skin. It's kind of like a makeup skincare hybrid item for me. Um, and so I would like to have two of those on hand, a matte or poreless uh, primer I'd like to have one of, and then i just like to have two other primers at the most. If it's less than that, that's fine. So I would like to have five. I currently have 12, so I do have some work to do there. For foundation, I have 10 foundations. So that is six liquid foundations, three loose powder foundations, and one pressed powder. I like to get that down to five total, so I would have three liquid, one pressed, and one loose powder foundation, just because I think that would give me plenty of um, items to work with. Along with for BB creams or tinted moisturizers, I have six and I like to have two. So between the foundations and BB creams, I feel like I can make, I can mix things together, I can do a lot with that. So um, for concealer, I currently have six concealers and I would like to only have four. So I have two under eye correctors and I really only need one. I have one under eye corrector and I like to keep it at one and I have three face concealers and I would like to have two. So I'd like to have one for like everyday use and then I'd also like to have one for more kind of maybe full coverage for special occasions or if I have like a planet growing on my cheek I can use that to cover it up. Um, so I do need to cut off a couple uh, concealers there. So I currently have five um, total setting products. I have two powders and three creams. I'd like to get that down to three, so I just want one powder and two creams so I can have one cream um, in my desk when I'm getting ready and then one in my purse for touch-ups. Um, for finishing powders, I have two. I want to keep it at two. I have an hourglass one and a wet and wild powder that I'm using as a finishing powder and I want to use up the wet and wild one so I can get another hourglass powder but I have to finish that one first because I'm only supposed to have two. Um, bronzers. I have nine bronzers right now and I like to only have seven. Um, I have two cream bronzers. I like to keep it at two. I have three matte powder bronzers and I like to have two of those, so a darker one and a lighter one. And I have four powder shimmery bronzers and I like to have three of those. That could change to two as well, but for right now it's three. Another reason I'm doing this makeup inventory is so that I can keep an eye on what my ideal numbers are because I feel like those could change over time. Um, and I think it'd be interesting to see that. So anyway, um, side note. <laughs> 
For blush, I currently have 30 blushes. So I have 21 powder blushes and I have nine cream blushes. So I'm okay with a little bit of growth there. I would like at the very most 25 powder blushes. So um, I could go out and buy four more, but then I'm done. And I have nine cream blushes and at the most I like 10. So I do have a little bit of wiggle room there, but less is better. For highlighters, I have eight highlighters. Three are powder and five are cream. I would like to only have five highlighters. So I would like to have two powder ones and three cream ones. Um, for face palettes, so that's like bronzer blush duos, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Palette, things like that. Um, I have seven and I'd be okay with having ten just because I think cheek and face palettes are, for me at least, are hard to find ones that I really like. And I think when you do find ones that you really like, they're unique. And I don't have like a ton of things like that. So I would be okay with having a couple more. I have four eye primers and I'd like to only have two. For eye bases, I have three and I'd only like to have two. Um, maybe like a peacher shade and then more of a like champagne shade. Uh, single eyeshadow. So I broke this down into different categories. So powder single eyeshadows. I have 24. At the very most, I want 30 just because I want a little bit of wiggle room because I do like the Makeup Geek single eyeshadows a lot and I would maybe purchase more in the future. Cream eyeshadows, so that's like if it's in a um, like a tube or a pot kind of a thing. I have 10 and I only want 10. So if I want a new one, I have to get run out or I have to use it up. So I have to do something. For sticks, so that's like a chubby stick for your eyes. Um, I have four and I'd be okay with five. I would be okay with having five. And pigments, I have nine and I'd be okay with ten. So currently I have, with all those singles, I have 47 and I'd be okay with having 55. Which sounds crazy, but when you break it down, it makes sense. Um, small eyeshadow palette. So that's like any, like a five pan eyeshadow palette and lower. So two, three, four, five. I have 14 of those, I'd be okay with 15. So there's a little bit of wiggle room. Large palettes, okay, I have 37 and I don't really have a number max that I would like. I just went down 40, but if it went over 40, I'd be okay with that. I don't know, I just, mm. We've been over the palette thing. If you wanna hear me rant about palettes, go check out my last declutter video. I got rid of a bunch and it was really hard, but I did it. Speaking of which, I got my new eyeshadow palette. Um, it is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette from the holidays and it looks like this. So I have 20 eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter to play with now. And I think that was a really good treat for me to get. I went and got it this afternoon and I was like so excited. Um, okay. Eyeliners. So I have 23 eyeliners right now and that is not okay. Um, so I broke it down a lot as well. So this one, I have three gel eyeliners. I would be okay with having two, like a matte black and maybe a sparkly black. Um, I have seven black pencil liners. I prefer pencil liner. Um, so I have seven black ones and I really only need two. I have two black pen liners and I don't use them very often, so I only really need one. I have three brown pencil eyeliners, and I only need one. I have four nude pencil liners. I would like to have two. And other colored pencil liners, I have two. I'd be okay with having three. And other pen liners, I have two, and I would only want one. So I have 23 eyeliners. I want to cut that down to 12. Okay, mascaras. I have 22 mascaras, which nobody needs 22 mascaras. Um, I have four primers and 18 normal mascaras. So I only want four total mascaras, so I want one primer, two normal mascaras, and then one waterproof open um, and you being used at a time. I understand if that one fluctuates a little bit, but um, those that that's my goal anyway. Okay, for lipsticks, I have... 48 total lipsticks. I have 7 lip butters and 41 lipsticks itself. Um, I only want 4 lip butters. I like to wear them on a regular basis, like for day to day, but um, that could change in time too. 
And I would be okay having 50 lipsticks because I feel like 50 is a good number and after 50 I'm probably only buying duplicate shades. There's probably not much, you know, not much variety else out there so I'd be okay with that. Lip crayons, I have 7. I would be okay with having 10 just because I love the Bite High Pigment Lip Pencils. That's where it's at. Um, lip balms. I have 7. I have 5 clear ones and 2 tinted ones. I'd be okay having five clear and five tinted, I guess. I don't know. I'm not very big into tinted lip balms, so if I have none, that's okay, too. Lip gloss. I have 31 lip glosses, and I only want 20 because lip gloss grosses me out. After about a year and a half, two years, I throw them out. So even if they're completely full, that's just gross. Um, sprays. I have three prep sprays, which is my Mari Badescu uh, Rose Water Spray. I have three matte finish sprays from NYX, and then I have six six finishing sprays, um, and I'd like to just have two of each, a full size and a travel size of each. So I have 12, and I want to get down to six. For brows, I have one clear eyebrow gel. I would like to keep it like that. I have one tinted gel. I like to keep it like that. I have three cream, like, fill-in products. I don't want, like, one. And I have one powder and I'd like to keep it at one. So I have six right now and I want to get down to four. Um, and that's it for my makeup collection. So my total, drum roll please, um, is 363 items, which is, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the number should be bigger, but I'm glad it's not bigger. <laughs> um, I did just declutter, so I feel like that's kind of why. I feel that way. And then if I added up all my ideal numbers, I would like to only have 317, but that number could change, of course. So anyway, um, for cruelty-free, my um, percentages aren't that bad. I have 302 total cruelty-free makeup items in my collection, which I think is really good. That's about 83% um, of my collection is cruelty-free. And then I have 61 non-cruelty for items, which is about 17%, give or take. So that's not that bad. I have a little bit of work to do, but I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, I did write down all the brands I have and how many items from each brand I have. And then I went through and started the ones that aren't cruelty-free, just so I can see where I'm at. Because I also want my brands to be within 90%. So I have... 52 different brands of makeup in my collection, which is, I think is really low. I think that's weird, but anyway, um, 37 of them are cruelty-free, so that's about 71%, and then I have 15 that are not cruelty-free, and that's about 29%. So I do have more work to do on the brand standpoint than the items, but my major priority is for the items to be within 90%, so those are my goals. Hopefully in three months I can reach them and show you guys the work I've done. Um, let me know down below if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. I'm usually pretty good about getting back to you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. I am kind of a nerd and I like to see the numbers change. So I'm really excited to see like over a year how my makeup collection is and what it looks like. So. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I have a whole bunch of fun stuff on my channel. If you haven't already, go check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.